What's up, everybody? Spider-Man! No Way Home! That's what's up. The upcoming Spider-Man movie, which is the third movie in the MCU Spider-Man franchise, and wouldn't you know it, they just happened to drop a trailer last night when I was in bed, about to sleep, and I saw some friends posting on Facebook or whatever, on social media, that the train trailer would drop, and I was like, I'm in bed right now. I just got in bed. I'm getting ready to sleep. I'm not going to get up right now and do a trailer reaction. So, fortunately, I had to save it for about uh, close to 24 hours now after I got off work and all that to finally watch the trailer and do a reaction to it on my channel because that's how I watch trailers ever since I have this... Uh, in this channel. Full disclosure, I do not, if I don't do a live reaction to a trailer, most of the time I just don't watch the trailer and there's a lot of times that I just miss out on it. However, I did miss out on the Spider-Man trailer and that is why I'm here today. Spider-Man is one of my favorite characters of all time, definitely one of my favorite Marvel characters of all time, and I just love the way that Tom Holland was able to portray him in the MCU. And uh, yeah, last Spider-Man movie, uh, Things didn't quite end so good for good old Spidey, so uh, let's just see how uh, he's taking it to, to uh, this new reality of being a fugitive. Which, by the way, is something we never actually got to see Spider-Man do in any of the movies. Not to this extent, in any ways. Now, I, and I love the fact that this MCU Spider-Man is bringing us a lot of different things we never got to see in the movies. Like, for example, working with Tony Stark, or having Aunt May know who... Peter Parker is who Spider-Man is. So yeah, a lot of interesting stuff. Let's watch this trailer and see what we're in for. Here we go! Dr. Strange! Okay. Oh, look at this. This is a good one. Some suggest that Parker's powers include the male spider's ability to hypnotize females. Stop, <laughs> come on. Yes, my If only that were true. <laughs> Can we just like stay up here all day? It is so crazy down there. That's right, folks. Spider-Man is in fact Peter Parker. Listen, I did not kill Mysterio. The drones oh. did. The drones that are yours. Oh yeah, that. Does any part of you feel relieved about all this? What do you mean? Now that everybody knows you don't really have to hide or lie to people. For the record, I never wanted to lie to you. But how do you tell someone that you're Spider-Man? Now everybody knows. But this isn't about me. This is hurting a lot of people. I've just been thinking about how to fix all of this. What's up, yeah. Peter? To what do I owe the pleasure? I'm sorry to bother you, sir. Please, we say to have the universe together. Right? There. I think we're beyond you calling me, sir. Okay, Steven. That feels weird, but I'll allow it. <laughs> when Mysterio revealed my identity, my entire life got screwed up. I was wondering if maybe you could make it so that he never did. Strange. Don't cast that spell. It's too dangerous. Fine. I won't. <laughs> <laughs> the entire world is about to forget that Peter Parker is Spider-Man. Wait, everyone? Can't some people still know? That's not how the spell works. So MJ's gonna forget about everything we've ever been through? Stop tampering with the spell. Oh my god, Ned. He's my best friend. Oh, my Aunt May should really stop know. talking. <laughs> what just happened? We tampered with the stability of space-time. Multiverse is a concept about which we know frighteningly little. What? The problem is you trying to live two different lives. The longer you do it, the more dangerous it becomes. <laughs> the Goblin! Be careful what you wish for, Parker. Whoa! Hello, Peter. What am 
the world! Multiverse! The multiverse is ha Okay. Start with the negatives. Really not a big fan of this trend that seems to be coming back. It seems to be a curse with the Sony Spider-Man movies, going all the way back to the Amazing Spider-Man movies, of Sony just showing you the entire movie in a three-minute trailer, of all things. Fortunately, since the move to the Marvel side, they kind of had a little bit more of a balance of being, ca being able to keep certain things under wraps. But, I mean, this is the first trailer when you basically, we basically know the entire plot of the movie. Or do we? You'd think that they've learned by now when this is probably just a red herring. So who knows? But yeah, uh, I knew Doctor Strange was going to be in it. I was still shocked to see him in the trailer. I didn't think he was going to reveal that in the trailer. But I didn't know how to how big of an extent he's going to have on this on this movie. Apparently, he's a major part of it. And certain parts of the trailer kind of made it look like Doctor Strange is kind of going to be the pseudo villain. I mean, that's just how the way how the trailer portrayed it. It's like just Peter goes to Doctor Strange to obviously get the spell to make everyone forget about him being Spider-Man and all, and then it, things kind of go horribly wrong as things usually tend to do for Spider-Man. And then it, it kind of looks like Doctor Strange and Spider-Man are fighting each other. Doctor Strange is trying to put everything back to normal and Spider-Man just keeps trying to resist and to continue on with this new life. Apparently, Spider-Man is going to go through a multitude of different costume changes, so that's great. And obviously, we get to see a glimpse at the Green Goblin or the Hobgoblin or some version of a Goblin. Uh, maybe the Red Goblin, who knows? But uh, I don't think they're going to go that far, just to be clear. But, yeah, a version of the Goblin shows up and obviously the big money shot... Dr. Octopus is back, played by Alfred Molina, who played him in the uh, Sam Raimi Spider-Man, which is kind of weird because he's kind of dead in that movie, so it's got to be some other different version of uh, Alfred Molina's Doc Ock, if, if that even is Doc Ock. I don't know. Multiverse gets confusing sometimes, but I'm happy that they were jumping into the multiverse, and obviously we're going to see gay... Gonna, Sorry. We're going to get to see more of that in the Multiverse of Madness. Is this going to be the Nexus event that triggers the Multiverse of Madness? Is Wanda going to be something uh, to do with it? Is this whole thing tied to WandaVision? I don't know. Lots of crazy stuff happening. It's a great time to be a Marvel fan, especially now that Mar no, mo sorry, more Marvel movies are coming out. I mean, we had Black Widow like a month or two ago. We're going to get Shang-Chi and I believe... Next week, if it's not already out this week, I don't know. Haven't quite been following it as well as they probably should. But uh, yeah, the MCU is back in full force, and I'm all for it. So let me know what you guys think about this trailer. Let me know what you guys think about the entire Spider-Man trilogy as a whole. Uh, and now we can actually call this a trilogy. And uh, yeah, multiverse and Doctor Strangeness. See what I did there? Anyways, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye! Hello again everybody! I really hope you enjoyed this video, cause I really enjoyed making it. So if you like what you've seen here, please remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe for more awesome content like this. So until next time guys, I'll see you guys next time.